Hello everyone, welcome back to Shawcode. Today we are going to be doing one final challenge, and we have covered all of the Python basics, so this will be the last video in this series. This challenge will incorporate as much of the basics as possible. I will be giving the solution in this video as well, so make sure you stick around for that. Anyway, let's get right into it. So, the challenge is to make a NASA control system. It needs to have a login system that uses a text file, a main control center with various options, a launch option that launches to a planet that the user inputs, and the launcher should toss a coin and decide whether the mission was successful or not. It needs to write all the successes with the planet name to a text file, and the second option on the control center should be to view the success text file. And finally, the third option should just quit the program. Okay, a little tip here, I haven't actually told you how you can quit a program yet, and you do this using the quit function. Okay, that's all you need to know. Start coding now and I will give the solution once you are finished. So pause the video now. Okay, did you manage to do it? If you didn't, don't worry, I will go over the solution now. Okay, so the first thing we'll want to do is create this login system. So let's define login as a function. Then we'll want to get some user input. So we'll do ask user equals input username and then ask password oh, password equals input password type there we go and then we'll do with open this is a different way to open a file so with open users.txe I've just got a text file here which has user1 hello with a comma at the end and user2 hello with a comma at the end. Make sure you have these commas at the end, it will make life a lot easier. We could also use the CSV module here, I decided not to, but you could have done if you wanted. And then we'll want to open it in read mode as f and then for line in f we'll want to create fields equals line dot split and if you remember, this is just, this fields is equal to a list of each individual item that has been split by a list. So in this text file, user1 will be a, uh, the first item in the fields list, second. And then what we want to do now is go up here, create a new list, users equals just a list, and then password, passwords equals another list and then we'll want to do users dot append fields zero because what's this doing the zeroth item if that's a word is user one so we want to append user one the users list and then we'll want to do passwords dot append fields one which will append the password which is hello okay and then now if we just do print users and oh and print passwords and then let's just call the login username hello this doesn't matter at the moment you can see we've got a users list and a password list let's get rid of this now and then let's do for user in users, so this is iterating over the users list, if ask user, which is the user input, equals a the user, which is just an item in the user list, let's, um, let's run the main function, and let's also set let in to be true, which will come in handy soon, let in equals true. And then outside of this, if not let in, so if this is false, it will ignore this, it will move on to if not let in, print username slash password incorrect. And then it'll just go back to the top of the login function again, so it'll go all the way back up here. So now let's make our main function, so define main. And then let's use a multi-line print, so print 
uh, just some fancy text. Welcome to the NASA control desk. She's going to call that the NASA desk control. Yeah, cool. And of course, we use the multiple line frame so we can print out the multiple lines. What would you like to do? One, launch. Two, view successes. And three, quit. Oh, I can it. Okay, cool. And then ask equals input. If ask equals one. Uh, let's run launch. If elif ask equals oh, and I've missed out my double equals there. If ask equals two, successes. Elif ask equals three. Print quitting. Now what we're going to do is do time dot sleep and then we'll do is time dot sleep one and quit. Now we're going to import the time module. I never actually covered this before. Uh, I've never done a specific video on it just because there's literally no other use for it apart from time dot sleep. So time dot sleep just pauses the program for one second and then we'll do else. Let's print invalid and then let's just go back to the top of main and now let's do our launch function let's just write pass here for the moment and then let's do define successes pass now let's go on to our launch so ask equals input what planet would you like to go to? Print. Now let's move on to the toss a coin section. So we'll just do time dot sleep too as well sleep two seconds and then chance equals random dot randint one or two this is either going to be one or two and then if chance equals one print let's do an f string landed on ask which is a planet they wanted to go to success Oh, we'll do else, print f unsuccessful abort mission, and there is literally no reason to use that f right there. So it's got a 50-50 chance of um, being successful and not being successful, and it, if it's unsuccessful, it's just going to go back to the main function down here, but if it is successful, we'll run the function right success and then we'll also pass ask now we need to define right success so define right success and the parameter will be planet which is why we've passed in ask right here with open success.txt in append mode as f f dot right let's use an f string Let's just write planet slash n so it goes onto a new line once we've written the planet. Then underneath here we'll do print success recorded time dot sleep. Oh, we could just copy and paste that there. And then let's go back to the main function. Now it's time for to do the successes function. So we'll also do with open successes.txt in R mode, in read mode, so as F for line in F, so this is going to iterate through each line in F let's print line and then we'll sleep one and we'll go back to the main okay I think that's pretty much it guys so yeah I'll just scroll through the code if you missed any of it
Okay, let's run it now. Username, user1. Getting the password was hello. Welcome to the NASA control desk. What would you like to do? Well, let's launch first. What planet would you like to go to? Let's go to Pluto, even though it's not a planet. Preparing for liftoff, T minus 3, 2, 1. Liftoff. And then we'll wait. Oh, random is not defined. Why is that the case? We forgot to import random because. I'm a silly billy. Using, let's make it a bit bigger. Username, let's log in with user2 this time. Hello. Uh, what would you like to do? I would like to launch, and hopefully without any bugs this time. What planet would you like to go to Pluto again, please? Pre preparing for liftoff. 3, 2, 1. Liftoff. Oh no, it was unsuccessful. What a shame. Let's just keep on doing it until we do get a success. 3, 2, 1. Now let's view successes. Oh, that's because in here it is called success, not successes. There we go. You'll need to have the right. You'll need to have the right text file. We need successes there as well. So username, user one. Let uh, no, it's uh, hello, isn't it? And then view successes. Sleep is not defined. We need time dot sleep. View success, Pluto, and we've had one success. And now let's try the quit function. So free, quitting, and we'll get this pop up. Your program is still running. Do you want to kill it? Yes, we do. And there we go. That's the final challenge completed, and it is also the end of a Python basic series. What I am thinking of doing next is an intermediate series where we learn about object oriented programming. Object oriented programming is very useful and is the best way to code in Python. So make sure you subscribe to that, it will be coming soon. Also, make sure you comment any tutorials you would like to see on the channel, I am open to your suggestions. If you would like to support me, all you have to do is give this video a like, share this series with someone who you think will find it useful, and subscribe to the channel, because I post Python videos almost every day. That's it from me, cheers and goodbye.